In this video, we are going to talk about how do you implement OOP in the C programming language. So as you can see on my visual code that if I try writing the keyword class and do something like person, I get errors. This is because C or I should say the vanilla C is a procedural language. It is not an object oriented language. So that is why there is no concept of object orientation or I should say classes in the C programming language. So how do you implement OOP in C? So we have a thing in C which are called structures. With the use of structures, pointers and the pointers to function, we can implement an OOP like structure in the vanilla C programming language. Now imagine if I want to create a class of person and just for this tutorial that class is going to have only one variable which is going to be the age. Now you know when we are working with object oriented programming, we use some methods which are called setters and getters. So these are the things that I would be trying to implement in the vanilla C programming language. So let's start off with creating a structure for person and in here I'm going to create a variable for age. Coming outside of this structure, I'm going to create some functions which are going to be the setters and getters. So normally this would be the template of setters and getters and functions. But in here you can notice one thing. I've said that we would use structures to duplicate classes, but we're writing this function outside of structures. Why is that so? Well, in the C programming language, you cannot put any function inside the structure definition. And if we are not putting this function inside the structures, then we need to pass in a reference to these structures. So the very first argument, or I should say the very first parameter of these setters and getters method are going to be the references to this structure. So I'm going to say structure and then the name of the structure and then space and asterisk. Now this is going to make a reference to the structure that I've created over here. I can simply copy it and paste it inside the getter function as well. After that, we need to give it some name. So I'm going to call it an instance because we create instances of classes in the normal object oriented programming. After that, I cannot simply access the parameter or the variable inside that structure simply by typing in uh, my object name dot something. I need to refer it by using the instance. So I can type in return instance and then arrow function and age. Similarly for the setter, it is going to be that instance arrow function age is equals to the age that was passed on to this function. Now that we have set up our setter and getter methods, the only thing that is left to do is to include this within the structure. So we know that we cannot create function in the structure. However, we know one more thing that we can create variables. And if we can create variables, we can also create pointer variables. If we can create pointer variables, then we can also create function pointers. So we are going to create some function pointers for the setter. It is going to be set. And in here, we are again going to pass on the reference to the structure that we have just created. Same goes for the getter function. So basically we have set up our class in the C programming language. Now the only thing that is left to do is to create an object of this particular structure. So come down in the main function, type in the keyword structure, type in the name of the structure which is person, type in the name of the variable which is going to be p1. Now we cannot simply access like p1.set and type in the age over here. That would give us an error. We still need to bind it. So the way to bind it is you type in p1.set is equals to set age. Similarly, you bind it by saying p2.get is equals to get age. Now we can use this function pointers. So now we can finally say that p1.set and within the parentheses we can simply pass on the age which is going to be 18 and for the getter function we can call the printf function we can print that the age is and in here we can use p1.get age as you can see there are still some squiggly lines left that is because we need to pass on the reference to the structure but in this case we need to pass on the address of the variable that we have just created so type in the and operator and type in the name of our variable which is going to be the p1. Similarly in the get function type in the address operator and type in p1. After that we can simply save our code and execute it and if everything is working fine we should get the output as 18. And there you go the age is 18. So that is how you implement object oriented programming in C programming language. 